What's going on? This is Rob Lee and I'm bringing you an updated video on the top five most expensive single cards sold ever in history. This video was updated on January 20th, 2021. So if you're watching this video after that date and there's an update, then there's going to be a link right here. Now, let's get it started. Number five. A 1952 Topps Mickey Mantle signed with a PSA grade of 9 sold on April 19th, 2018 for $2.88 million. This was sold on Heritage Auctions platform after 22 bids and is only one of 9 PSA 9 Mantles and there's 3 PSA 10 Mantles out there in circulation. Who has them? Nobody knows. This card was owned by former NFL offensive lineman Evan Mathis and was sold to purchase a house for him and his family in Tennessee. Oh, card for a house. Since then, Evan has been flipping cards full time until December of 2019 when a scandal broke out accusing him of trimming cards. You Number four. The holy grail of sports card collecting, a 1909-11 T206 white border Onus Wagner PSA 5 was sold on Golden Auctions platform on October 1st, 2016. This is the oldest card on the countdown and it sold for a whopping $3.12 million, which is actually $2 million less than what Golden Auctions was expecting. This card has been dubbed the Jumbo Wagner because of its unusually large borders due to a miscut when it was originally printed. With its large borders, you can hypothetically cut out a perfect standard sized T206, potentially resulting in a PSA grade of 9 or 10. The rarity of this card stems from when the original manufacturer, American Tobacco Company, abruptly stopped production of this card, resulting in only 50 to 100 cards ever being circulated. It's been speculated that production stopped due to a contract dispute or because Wagner himself didn't want to promote tobacco use in children. Fun fact, prior to this sale, the most famous Gretzky Onus Wagner held the record when it sold for $2.8 million to Arizona Diamondbacks owner Ken Kendrick back in April of 2011. The Gretzky Onus Wagner is the only other Wagner rated higher than the Jumbo Wagner with a PSA grading of eight. And I'm sure in today's market, that'll probably go for over $10 million. Number three. Back to back on this list, another 1909-11 T206 Onus Wagner sold on December 17th, 2020 in a deal that was brokered through Heritage Auction for $3.7 million. It's graded at a PSA 3. What? This was 3.7 million and it is a PSA 3. Three means very good condition. Why that car look like it's folded in half? Of the 50 or 60 that exist in the world, there's only four other cards that have graded any higher than this. So, you know, I had an opportunity to buy it and, and I did. It's worth noting that this is the same exact card that sold on October 21st, 2020 on Mile High Card Company's platform for $3.25 million, which means some anonymous investor made almost half a million dollars in less than two months. My, 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 my. Number two. The most controversial card on this list is the 2009 Bowman Chrome Draft Prospects Mike Trout Superfractor one of one signed rookie card. This was a golden auction sale which ended on August 23rd, 2020. The price was a record shattering $3.936 million and the seller, Vegas Dave. Now, I would have to say that Vegas Dave strategically inflated the price of this card by cornering the market. The story goes that Vegas Dave comes back into sports card collecting in 2018, goes on eBay and sees this card with a buy it now price of $500,000 from a guy in Taiwan. 
After a couple of back and forths, he finally gets his card for $400,000 and shortly afterwards, he goes on an all-out buying spree, buying every single refractor that he could find, ultimately ending up with one red refractor out of five, eight orange refractors out of 25 on top of this superfractor. So, in May of 2020, he ends up selling one of the red refractors for $900,000. Which means, he's automatically securing at least that for his superfractor that he just bought for $400,000. So fast forward to August, he puts the superfractor up for sale, and after 20 bids, it racks up the price of almost $4 million. I mean, you gotta give this man credit. 10xing your money at that price? To me, the card will be worth five to ten million dollars. The card just sold for two point eight million dollars at Mickey Mantle a couple months ago. I like breaking records, so I won't sell it for less than three million. Damn! Number one. As if 2020 didn't see enough of a spike in the most expensive sports cards in the world, 2021 is already starting off with a bang with another record-breaking sale of a baseball card already featured on this list, on January 14th, 2021, a PSA 9 1952 Mickey Mantle became the world's most expensive card sold ever with the sale price of $5.2 million. It's over a million dollars higher than the Mike Trout Superfractor and almost Double the price of Evan Mathis's mantle sold back in 2018. This deal was brokered on PWCC's marketplace and the buyer was Rob Goff, the owner of the clothesline Dope. Did you know that 1952 marked Top's second year of producing baseball cards and it had such a bad reception that for seven years, 300 cases of these cards sat and collected dust in one of Topps warehouses. Topps finally called it a day and dumped 300 cases of these cards into the Atlantic Ocean. Da -na 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 All these baseball cards in the ocean. This mantle purchase resulted in every other sport being eliminated from this top five list and currently, the top five most expensive cards of all time are all baseball. This is Rob from Filth Bomb Breaks, and if you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're trying to get in on the ground floor on baseball card collecting, check out our site, filthbombbreaks.com. Get in a break. It's the funnest way to open up packs. I guarantee that. If you got a tip for me on any card that is more expensive than any card on this list, let me know in the comments. And with that, we're out.